What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be reviewing the Galaxy Tab Pro and this is the Wi-Fi version with 16 gigabytes. On the back side it shows all the specs on this and I'm just going to read it to you because you probably won't be able to see it all. So it has an 8.4 inch screen and there are bigger versions of this tablet available and the actual dimensions of it is 2560 by 1600 pixels and it has a super clear LCD screen and it plays back in full HD. I'm able to get on YouTube and watch 1440p videos and then on this has GPS and my favorite part about this tablet it's its CPU. Its CPU has a 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor and it is super snappy. You can really tell while you're playing games and um, it's a lot faster than my iPhone 5 and a lot faster than my old Zeki tablet. And the camera on this thing is probably one of my other favorite things about it. It's 8 megapixel back camera and here's some pictures of it right now. And um, I'm really, really pleased with the pictures on this. Like compared to my iPhone 5, I think I might prefer this for pictures. And then um, the front camera is a 2 megapixel front camera. And I actually use the front camera for all my webcams back in the day. So... The camera on this thing is just really nice, and then um, it has a 4,800 milliamp battery and 2 gigs of RAM. So this thing's probably equivalent to a laptop, a really, really junky one, but I've had some tablets, or I've had some laptops that are worse than this tablet. And um, here's some more stuff on the box that you can just pause here if you want to see. And um, this box is really cool. It's obviously made to be easily recycled, and then it just looks like wood, and this is really really neat design so I've already had this tablet for about six months now so that's why it's already open and um, we're just gonna pull it out here and I try to keep it like how it was when I opened it so when you open it, it should look some like this and then um my tablets kind of dirty because I have it in a case and I'll show you what type of case I have on it and you can see my face right right there but let's get the tablet out of here so one of the things that I'm not used to seeing because I always have a case on it is this like artificial leather back and um, it actually is stitching on it and it looks really really nice and it's extremely thin. It's actually probably about the same thickness as my iPhone 5 or maybe even thinner. So on the bottom we have the USB and the two speakers which are kind of easy to muffle if you're holding your tablet. So sometimes I find myself watching a movie and then I notice that the sounds kind of getting quiet and then I notice that my hands are just over his speakers. It's just a minor like thing. It's not even worth really being bugged about but um I wish like the speakers were on the front but then it would make it look uglier so maybe on the back next time I'm not too sure. And um the camera is right there and it's really nice but it sticks out above like the actual phone case so that's why I got a case for my phone so my tablet won't be like laying down here and then scratching up the camera. So the front camera is not centered, but it's right, right there. And um, I really don't notice. It's really nice. And then obviously you have your Samsung logo. And I'm gonna turn it on real quick. Oh, hang on. There we go. So here's the tablet, and um, that's the camera. And this is just what it looks like. So I'll show you guys. So what I really like about it is that the frame is really small compared to some tablets that you might find at like Walmart or Target. And um, I haven't finished opening everything in the box, I'll get back to that. But this is like a tablet that you might find at Walmart or Target for $150 to $200. This tablet is a piece of junk, it's a Zeki, some weird tablet I've never even heard of. I bought it when I was about like 13 I was just like wow this thing sucks the camera on it's really really bad it's equivalent to a potato but the frame on this thing I can't turn the screen on to show you but you can even see the frame it's massive and the frame on this is much thinner especially on the edges and overall the tablet is much thinner and um it's a lot lighter too even though it's a lot bigger this tablet weighs a lot more this one is much lighter now that we're back to this tablet you obviously have your normal buttons like you'd find on your normal Samsung phone and then your power off is right here right above the volume rocker so that's pretty much all I'm gonna be showing you of the actual tablet I might talk more about it later but let's get into the actual case so this has been opened I actually haven't seen the inside of this box since I got it 
And um, I never took this thing out of it, so we can go ahead and do that. So, this, what is this? Quick start guide. Um, yeah, I never used that. I just kind of opened it in my car and um, never saw the box again. And it comes with a charger and a USB, and I don't remember if it came with headphones or not. But the headphones, like, it doesn't matter. Everyone already has headphones anyways. The only thing that I do like is having the charger because it's set up for the tablet. And tablets take the heavier wattage chargers than, uh, like, a normal phone. So that's pretty much all you get inside the box. And I want to show you guys the case I got for this because you will want a case on this because um, it's very thin and it's easy to drop, I've noticed. I've never dropped it, but it just slides out of your hands. And um, that's something that I don't like. Phones are getting thinner and thinner and they're easier to break. And I'm not too sure how this tablet would hold up against a nice fall. So I got an extremely overkill protective case. I got an OtterBox. And um, this OtterBox comes with a screen protector. And I, I like having screen protectors. I'm not too sure how much it would actually help. Then it also comes with this thing that helps protect your screen even more. And um, we'll see how this looks when it's all together. Okay, so this is a tablet with its actual case on. And sorry, all their smudges are everywhere on this thing. But um, it weighs about twice as much with the case. And if you're really into having light devices and um, not bulky devices, I would not recommend this case. It's really hard to find tablets that um, feel good with a case. Like, pretty much any case will make it feel bulky. So if you want to have like a really thin feel to it, you're just going to have to keep the case off. But I spent a lot of money on this, so I was willing to have a heavy tablet to protect it. And um, I actually bought this tablet for $200 at Best Buy. And um, you'll probably not ever be able to find a deal that good on this tablet. And that was just because they were trying to get rid of it. They were done selling these because this is an older tablet, but it was a pro like series. So it's still really good, but it's not like their newest tablet. So they're not even selling it at Best Buy, at least by me anymore. So I got it for $200 brand new, and you probably won't even be able to find it for $200 used. So um, I got an amazing deal on this, and um, we'll put this front case on it, show you how it can protect your front screen even more if you have it like in a bag full of keys and random stuff. I like to put this on it, and then take this all off you can put it on the back and just clip it on or you can actually use this stand which doesn't seem to prop it up enough but it props it up some and see you there and it's pretty cool you're able to get this case for about $30 on Amazon which is where I bought it from and um, I'm really pleased with this case I just never use this thing I usually just kind of use it if I'm watching Netflix or something like that and uh, that's one of my favorite things to do with this tablet is just watch Netflix. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to drop like, subscribe, and if you want to see some more gaming videos, just go to my channel and check them out, and I'll see you guys later.